Hey everyone, this is Ludens, aka Dorothy Toto 22 at myspace.com. I'm back out here in the uh, Arizona desert um, to kind of give you guys a little bit more understanding of um, my own personal journey and uh, the purposes of the uh, thread Confessions of the Illuminati. Um, giving you guys these panoramic views now because I just want to show you um, what it looks like out here um, in God's creation. Okay. As you can probably pick up on this um, camera, there's one type of cactus out here that is really, really plentiful. Um, it's actually a preserved um, type of cactus and they um, protect it and prevent it from uh, being harvested. But as you can see, this is in abundance, great abundance out here. Um, you've probably picked up on which one it is, hopefully. You can tell by the um, panoramic views that I'm giving you guys. Um, let me kind of zoom in here. Might make it a little bit more clear. Okay, there's areas too where I could have gone that this cactus is even in, in uh, more abundance, but um, I just thought this was a good spot to stop. Okay, that cactus, um, the name of that cactus is the saguaro cactus, and um, I'll be explaining later um, what exactly that means to me, but I'm going to have to go to a different location because the other type of cactus that is very rare um, that I'm looking for, I would have to walk quite a distance into this um, desert, and I don't really want to do that for obvious reasons. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey everyone, it's Ludens, aka Dorothy Toto22 at myspace.com. Um, what I have before me is the saguaro cactus. It's real hard to get in this one shot because this cactus is that big. <laughs> this particular one that I have in front of me is probably about, oh gosh, probably about 25 feet tall. Try to get all the way up on it. Okay. Um, I'm using this as an example of what I was before I started on this journey. And I'm just going to go through some of the characteristics of this uh, particular cactus for you now and try to compare them to myself. Um, this cactus obviously is it's huge. It's uh, the biggest that I know of. Um, it's not humble at all. It's a very, very boastful and proud cactus. Um, it's also, like I said before, it's very, very plentiful. You'll find these cact cacti everywhere in um, Arizona. Um, it's covered head to toe in spines. Um, to me, that just represents um, all of those things that we place up around us to prevent people from seeing what we really are. These are normally located on the mountain, um, the side of the mountain that faces the sun. Um, to me, I've always been a Christian, um, so I've always been, you know, on that side of the mountain facing my creator. Um, but this cactus, it, it doesn't bow to its creator, and that's um, significant because I'm going to show you a cactus that actually does that. Um, that's just a representative, representative of me. Um, being a Christian and not walking the walk, basically. Um, now these these saguaros, they do bear fruit, um, but the fruits are, um, they flower at the very top. So obviously that's not doing anybody much good. You can't really get to the fruit unless you're a bird. Um, everybody else ground level, they're, they're unable to reach this, uh, reach this top of this cactus. They normally bear fruit a certain time of year um, in the springtime. <laughs> that's that's uh, pretty much like me um, bearing my fruit right around Easter time like a lot of Christians do we'll go to church and then we'll be all happy and then the fruit quickly falls away um, the fruits on this cactus they they do that they um they they'll be there but they'll they'll fall away and fall to the ground before anybody even has a chance to um, benefit from the fruits 
Um, just like the other cactus that I'm going to show you, this cactus does contain water. Um, but this, the water that's in this cactus is very, very difficult to reach because this cactus also has a wooden cage type uh, set up inside of it so that you have to chop through that wood um, just to even get to the water that's inside of it. Um, that's, a represent that's representative to me of the living water that uh, is Jesus Christ that he so freely gives us to drink of. Um, but we, we don't like to share it sometimes when we're behaving like the saguaro. Um, and that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much, that was me. Um, I still fight against becoming the saguaro again. Um, it's probably going to be a long struggle, but let me show you now um, what I aspire to become and what I'm hopefully becoming. Okay, I have to get kind of close to the ground because right here before me I have what's called a barrel cactus. There's two different types of these and we could make a lot of jokes as to what the fruits do, but <laughs> I'll keep it simple for this um, discussion. Now, main attribute of this barrel cactus is that it's really small. It stays low to the ground. Um, it's humble and that's what I seek to be. Um, this cactus is really rare. I um, had a difficult time finding these two cac cacti um, in close proximity to each other to even do this um, presentation. This cactus still has spines here on it, and um, that's a representation of, you know, the fact that I will never be perfect. I'll never be perfect, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm made to bear good fruit through Christ Jesus. Now, something that's interesting about this that you can't see right now, but when this blooms, it actually looks like a crown that's on its head. It looks like a crown of flowers. And that represents to me the crown of life that Jesus uh, freely gives to us. Um, the fruit that are on top of this cactus, they, they will, they will re remain here. Um, they won't fall away until um, something comes along and is able to uh, pluck these fruits. I'd show you how easy it is to obtain these fruits right now, but um, I'm going to leave them up there just in case any animals are hungry. Um, now... What's really interesting about this cactus is that it actually um, bows in the direction of the sun. Um, this one's not really dis displaying that too strongly, but it might be because it's in a shady area. But naturally, these have a tendency to bow towards the, um, the sunlight. And that's just a represent representation of um, how I seek to serve and bow to my creator. Um, now these fruits, like I said, they're presented freely. They're easy to get to. This cactus also contains water, which to me is like the living water that Jesus Christ freely gives us to drink. Um, the water is very easy to obtain uh, if you know how to go about doing it. It's very easy to get to, unlike the uh, saguaro. That's pretty much, that pretty much sums it up. That pretty much describes my uh, personal journey that I've been on. You guys were all witness to the transformation that I underwent. Um, I hope to explain in greater detail um, just exactly that process. And hopefully this will give some insight to you guys that, that are out there. I know there's a lot of lost people in the world. And uh, it's, it's time to start speaking to you all. So thanks for paying attention. Um, I hope you gained something from this video. Bye.